you are able to see the screen students yes sir screen is visible okay so first module let us start with the clippers and clampers transistor uh, biasing circuits clipper is a circuit which clips off certain portion of the applied input signal and keeping the remaining waveform as it is that is it cuts the or it slices the applied input signal while keeping the remaining portion of the input signal as it is okay so such circuits we call them as clipper circuits one of the examples for clipper circuits is the half wave rectifier in the half wave rectifier what will happen we will be getting only one portion of the applied input signal at the output okay we will be getting only one portion either positive portion or the negative portion of the applied input signal will be obtained at the output so what is happening there some portion of the applied input signal is cut off it is sliced right or it is clipped off so that we will be getting only the remaining portion of the applied input signal at the output such circuits are called as clipper circuits depending on the position of the diode we have the positive or negative region being clipped off depending on the position of the diode either the positive portion of the applied input signal will be clipped off or the negative portion of the applied input signal will be clipped off okay there are two types of clipper circuits series clipper and the parallel clipper series clipper is the clipper in which the diode is connected in series with the load the diode is connected in series with the load then such circuits are called as series clippers okay if the diode is connected in parallel with the load then it is called as parallel clipper in series clipper the diode is connected in series with the load and in parallel clipper the diode is connected in parallel to the load two types of clipper series clipper and the parallel clipper circuits fine so let us start with the series clipper circuit so this is the series clipper circuit in this series clipper circuit this is how the diode is connected or placed positive negative of the diode okay so when we apply the input signal to this circuit right what will happen the diode will <coughs> the diode will be forward biased okay the diode will be forward biased so when the diode is forward biased what will happen it will conduct only for positive half cycle okay it will conduct only for the positive half cycle right it will conduct only for the positive half cycle for the positive half cycle the diode is forward biased positive to positive negative to negative the diode is forward biased and it will conduct so when the diode conducts in the forward biased condition we get the output whatever is the input we are applying positive portion that is obtained at the output Okay, across the load. Now, for the negative half cycle, for the negative half cycle, negative positive input will be minus plus, right? Minus plus, it has changed its polarity. Minus plus, so minus will be connected to positive and positive to negative. The diode will be in reverse bias condition. The diode is in reverse bias condition. It is open circuit. When the diode is open circuit. The current cannot flow. That means we will not be getting the output across the load and hence the negative portion of the applied input signal is clipped off okay so this is the example of series negative clipper okay so the, uh, the clippers are also classified as a positive clipper and the negative clipper negative clipper is a clipper which clips off the negative portion of the applied input signal and positive clipper is a clipper which clips off the positive portion of the applied input signal okay so they are also classified as positive clipper and the negative clipper circuits here there are different types of waveforms if square waveform is applied for square waveform also for the positive portion the diode is forward biased and we get the output for the negative half cycle the diode will be reverse biased because the polarity of the input will change minus plus minus to plus and uh, plus to minus of the diode so diode will be in reverse bias condition when the diode is in reverse bias condition it is open circuit right it is open circuit and hence the current cannot flow and there will be no output so we are not getting the negative portion of the square wave at the output it is the same as the previous circuit except the type of waveform is different here it is sine waveform that we are applying as input to the circuit 
negative series clipper circuit and here we are applying the square wave input to the series negative clipper circuit and if we apply the triangular waveform also even if you apply the triangular waveform also the same thing will happen positive portion will be conducted and uh, we'll get the only the positive half portion at the output the negative half portion will be clipped off so there will be no negative portion appearing at the output okay so th these are the different types of waveforms so there are no as such like we can apply any type of input waveform to the clipper circuits and uh, we can obtain the outputs okay there is no limit for applying the various types of wave we can apply any input type of input waveforms and observe the output now if there is a dc supply suppose if there is a dc supply in series with or in between the supply and the output okay then the analysis will change if there is a dc supply connected in between the input and the output then the analysis of the circuit will change right the dc supply can be present in between the input and the output or it can be present parallel to the output okay the dc supply can be present in between the input signal and the output signal or it can be present parallel to the output okay there are two ways in which the dc supply is connected in the clipper circuits if the dc supply is connected in series the dc supply is connected in series with the input signal right then as we can see in this circuit the dc supply is connected in series with the input signal right the dc supply is connected in series with the input signal vi is the input signal is connected in series dc supply now when this dc supply is connected in series right what will happen if we apply kvl to this loop if we apply kvl to this loop what will get minus to plus plus vi positive to negative minus v then the diode voltage minus vd minus v not equal to 0 correct so what will be the kirchhoff's voltage law when if it is applied it is negative to positive plus vi plus vi okay minus minus the dc supply voltage that is minus v positive to negative is decrease in energy so it is minus v right it is minus v minus v then minus the diode voltage vd vd minus the diode voltage okay minus positive to negative minus the diode voltage decrease in energy and positive to negative minus v not positive to negative minus v not is equal to 0 minus v not is equal to 0 here there are two types of diodes one is called as the ideal diode another another one is called as the typical diode ideal diode and the typical diode for the ideal diode the turn on voltage is zero that is a diode voltage vd the turn on voltage of the diode the voltage required to turn on the diode is zero volts because it is the ideal diode now for the practical diode if we consider for a silicon then the silicon diode then the turn on voltage for the diode the voltage that is required to turn on the silicon diode it is 0.7 volts 0.7 volts 0.7 volts okay so this is how we require the there are two types of diodes ideal and practical diode for the ideal diode the turn on voltage is 0 volts or the cut in voltage or knee voltage is 0 volts for the practical diode the diode voltage or the conduction voltage or knee voltage it is 0.7 volts for the silicon diode fine now in the above equation suppose if we assume the diode as ideal then the equation will be vi vi minus v minus v minus vd vd is 0 volts vd is 0 volts okay 0 volt minus 0 volt for the ideal diode minus v not minus v not minus v not is equal to 0 equal to 0 what we will get vi minus v minus v is equal to v not vi minus v is equal to v not equation for the output voltage will be vi minus v vi is the input voltage v is the dc supply voltage that is applied in between the input voltage and the output now here what this dc supply voltage is doing it is opposing the input voltage vi it is opposing the input voltage 
vi is it not because it is minus v this vi is plus vi correct so the dc supply voltage it is opposing the applied input signal vi fine now if it is opposing right when the diode will be turned on if see here this is minus which is connected to plus of diode and this is plus is connected to minus of diode minus is connected to plus minus of dc supply is connected to plus of diode and plus of dc supply is connected to minus of diode the diode is reverse passed the diode is reverse passed so it will be in off state right that means what when vi input voltage is less than this v it will be in off state because v is more the dc supply voltage is more which is making the diode in the off state so the diode will be turned on when vi will become more than v when this input signal vi becomes more than the dc voltage dc supply voltage the diode will be turned on that means when vi will overtake the dc supply that time the diode will be in on state in the conduction state okay because the positive is connected to positive of diode the negative of vi is connected to negative of diode the diode will be turned on when vi is greater than that means here the diode will be on for vi greater than v and off for vi less than v in this circuit particular circuit series clipper with a dc supply when vi is greater than v the diode will be in the on state and when vi is less than v the diode will be in the off state okay when vi is greater than v the diode will be in on state when vi is less than v the diode will be in the off state now if we apply the kirchhoff voltage law just as i told we'll get v0 is equal to vi minus v by applying the kvl when we apply the kvl to the circuit right series clipper circuit with dc supply then we get vi minus v is equal to v0 or v0 is equal to vi minus v by applying the kirchhoff voltage law here we are determining what is called as a transition voltage okay the transition voltage is the applied input voltage for which the diode will be it will determine when the diode will be in the off state and when the diode will be in the on state right transition voltage is the applied input voltage which will determine yes please so pat 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 ko 3 8 0 what up 7 8 yes please any doubt 8 0 7 8 3 6 5 3 hello any doubt here sorry sir sorry sir sorry sir okay so the transition voltage is the applied input voltage right for which will determine when the diode will be in the off state and when the diode will be in the on state so that applied input voltage is called as the transition voltage so if we, are, we want to determine this transition voltage for the ideal diode let us say we are finding it for the ideal diode so for ideal diode right assuming the diode to be ideal vd is 0 volts that is turn on voltage or the conduction voltage of the diode is 0 volts and id equal to 0 milliampere because the diode voltage is 0 the current will not flow to the output to the load right the diode voltage is 0 volts then the current that is flowing to the output load rl is also 0 milliampere okay so assuming the diode to be having zero conduction voltage for ideal diode and the diode current or the current to the load is 0 milliampere we have to find out the applied voltage or the transition voltage below which the transistor will be in off the below which sorry the diode will be in the off state and above which the diode will be in the on state now here just we, as we determined for the kvl as we applied the kvl here vi minus v is equal to v0 okay vi minus v here we have got the equation v0 is equal to vi minus v correct v0 is equal to vi minus v by kirchhoff voltage law is it not so v0 is equal to vi minus v but output voltage is zero assuming the diode to be ideal assuming the diode to be ideal right what will be the output voltage it is zero because id is zero is it not id is zero 
ID is zero. ID is zero milliampere. Zero milliampere. Okay. As ID is zero milliampere, right? V not will be equal to zero. V not will be equal to zero volts. V not will be equal to zero volts. Okay. Because the output current is zero, therefore voltage will also be zero. So v not is zero. If we put, let us say, if we are taking it as equation one, if we put V not equal to zero volts in equation one, in equation one, then what we get? If we put V not equal to zero volts in equation one. V I minus V. V i minus v is equal to zero. V i minus v is equal to zero. Correct. Or V i is equal to v. V i is equal to v. That means the transition voltage is at v volts. Right? From the reference zero level, right? From the reference level, the transition voltage is the applied input voltage is v volts. So above this. V volts the diode will be the on state and below this V volts level the diode will be in the off state. Okay, this is the what is called as the transition voltage. So how we found out this transition voltage? We assume the diode to be ideal, V D equal to zero volts and I D equal to zero milliampere. For this condition, the output voltage is zero volts. We applied the KVL and found out the equation is V I minus V is equal to V naught. If we put V naught equal to zero in this equation. Then we get V I minus V is equal to zero, or V I is equal to V. That means the applied input voltage, if it is V volt, this is the transition voltage. Below this transition voltage, the diode will be in the off state, and above the transition voltage, the diode will be in the on state. Okay. It is the same circuit that we have taken. Okay, the conduction is there. That is conduction. It is ideal diode. So I D is zero ampere. So V not will be equal to I D into R. Or it is zero into R resistance. Current is zero. I D is zero. I into R Ohm's law. That is equal to zero volts. Output is zero volts. Okay. Then we applied the KVL to this portion of the circuit. We applied the KVL to this circuit here. Correct. So this is how we are analyzing the circuit or the network. This is the V I equal to V level. I have drawn the horizontal line. Right, horizontal line is shown here. So for this horizontal line on this sine wave form, right, this is the reference level V I equal to V volts. Up below this reference level, the diode is in off state, and above this reference level, the diode will be in the on state. This is called as the transition level or the transition voltage. The meaning of transition is that itself. Transition means change. So the diode is changing from off state to on state. So it is a reference level below which the diode is in off state. And above which the diode is in the on state. This is where what we analyzed the circuit. Okay, so whatever circuit we analyzed, it is the same circuit here. So at V volts, right? Below V volts, when V I is less than V, the diode is in the off state. When V I is less than V, the diode is off and V not equal to zero. When V I is less than this reference voltage, that is transition voltage. Sorry, on the reference voltage, V I equal to V. Right, V I less than V. Diode is in off state and output will be zero. Because when it is in off state, output will be zero. When V I is greater than V, when V I is greater than V, so there is a conduction. When V I is greater than V, the diode will be in the on state, and we get the output voltage for this portion of the applied input signal. Okay, this is the output that we are getting when V I is greater than V volts. That is, we are greater than the transition level. Take this example. Predict the output of the following circuit for the given input signal. It's the same circuit what we discussed just now, right? Predict the output of the following circuit for the given input signal. Here we are applying the input signal. We are applying the input signal V I. Okay. This is the DC voltage. Again, it is negative to positive plus V I minus V minus V not equal to zero. So that means it is the same circuit that we have considered. Okay, just its analysis portion. This is the equivalent circuit that is shown. That is V with the diode shorted when the diode is in the conduction state, right? Then V I is greater than V. When V I is greater than V, the diode is conducting, and we are getting the output voltage. Correct? We are getting the output voltage for this above this level, above this plus V level. Which is shown on the sine waveform. Above this plus V level, you can see here I have marked it as D on. The diode is in the 
on state and below this plus v level the diode is in the off state correct then output side kvl if we apply we get vi minus v minus v not equal to 0 or v not is equal to vi minus v the same thing just with the different type of uh, waveforms i mean uh, i mean equivalent circuit being shown here so if vi is less than v if vi is less than v that it is just like a switch open circuit open circuited switch where the current will not be flowing or the current to the load is zero therefore the output voltage will also be zero therefore for the range when vi is greater than v and less than vm the diode will be conducting and will get the output voltage when vi is greater than minus vm and less than v right you should remember this that is when vi is greater than v the diode is conducting when vi is less than v the diode is in the off state clear here i hope you are following here students yes i hope you all are following here students yes, sir. okay yes, sir. fine 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 so determining of output waveform note down this uh, example note down this example you have to determine the output waveform for the applied input signal to determine the output waveform for the applied input signal it is 0 to 20 volts 0 to 20 volts signal positive peak is given 20 volts the sine waveform that is 20 volts minus 20 volts sine waveform that is applied to the circuit this is plus vi then it is minus plus polarity to dc supply note down it is minus plus v is equal to 5 volts in the diode polarity is positive negative then the resistance is connected at the output resistance is connected at the output Note down the circuit students. Note down the circuit. Shall we proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. See here. this is plus vi okay this is negative to positive plus vi negative to positive plus v previous circuit what was the polarity of the dc supply it was positive negative okay it was positive negative you have to just observe what are the polarities of the dc supply what are the polarities of the input what are the polarities of the diode and accordingly you have to analyze the circuit this such type of circuits clipper and clamper circuits okay so here it is negative to positive plus vi negative to positive plus v okay that means vi plus v minus v not positive to negative diode voltage is zero it is ideal diode it is zero volts so minus to plus plus vi then minus to plus my plus v increase in energy plus vi plus v minus v not equal to zero or v not is equal to vi plus v correct v not is equal to vi plus v plus so here negative Negative to positive plus V I, negative to positive plus V minus V not equal to zero, or V not is equal to V I plus V. Is it not? Let us write it. So it is V I, V I plus V plus V minus V not minus V not is equal to V. V I plus V minus V not equal to zero, or V not is equal to V I my plus V V I plus V is okay. V not is equal to V I plus V. Diode voltage is zero, so if we consider diode voltage, it will be 
minus vd so minus vi plus v minus vd minus v not equal to 0 but vd is 0 volts therefore it will be simply vi plus v minus v not equal to 0 or v not is equal to vi plus v okay now let us apply the different input voltage and analyze the output first for 0 volts suppose if we apply 0 volts then what will be the output so it is v naught is vi plus v okay vi plus 5 volts okay so it is vi plus 5 v is 5 volts it is given it is v naught is equal to vi plus 5 volts plus 5 okay? that means for vi is equal to 0 for vi is equal to 0 okay? what will be v v is equal to 5 volts v is equal to 5 volts correct now for the second condition this is for let us take it as first condition for the first one okay then for the second condition second condition when vi equal to 20 maximum peak voltage that they are given is 20 volts okay positive peak it is plus 20 volts right so if it is plus 20 then what will be the output voltage when vi is equal to 20 volts positive 20 volts therefore v will be equal to vi that is 20 plus 5 20 plus 5 this will be equal to 25 volts this will be equal to 25 volts so first we found out for vi equal to 0 we are getting what is the output voltage that we are getting so it is v naught it is this is v naught v naught is equal to vi plus 5 so here v naught will be equal to 5 volts when vi is 0 then when input voltage is 20 volts v naught will be equal to 25 volts correct now one point i want to mention here for the entire range of positive cycle the diode is forward biased because the dc supply voltage polarity is such that positive is connected to positive always and negative is connected to negative therefore for the entire range of positive portion of the applied input signal the diode is in the on state or in the conduction state correct now if the input voltage reverses its polarity that is if it becomes negative vi becomes negative minus plus for the negative portion of the applied input signal it is minus plus so when it becomes minus plus then still positive of the dc supply is connected to positive and negative is connected to negative now when vi this negative portion minus plus will become more than this voltage right it overtakes this voltage 5 volts that time the diode will be going into the reverse bias condition right because still it is positive positive negative negative forward bias only when this vi will be magnitude will be more than the negative magnitude will be more than this magnitude of the dc supply voltage positive dc supply voltage that time the diode will become the reverse biased and it will go into off state the diode will be open circuit okay so here plus plus my even the for the negative portion the polarity will be minus plus vi will be minus plus okay when it is minus plus positive of this is connected to positive okay as it is minus plus here right as it is minus plus here so it is still in the reverse bias it will now go into the reverse bias condition correct so when v naught is minus 5 volts what will happen what will be the output voltage when v naught when vi is when vi is when vi is when vi is equal to minus 5 volts vi is equal to minus 5 volts therefore v naught will be equal to vi plus 5 vi plus 5 vi plus 5 so this will be equal to how much minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 vi is minus 5 plus 5 that will be equal to 0 volts that will be equal to 0 volts so we get v naught as 0 volts okay so that is what it is written here when vi is minus 5 volts for minus 5 volt this level the output will be 0 volts okay so it is less than minus 5 volts if it goes the output will be completely 0 only when output goes 0 volts for minus 5 volts for vi less than minus 5 volts so the 5 volts also the output will be in the zero state only because it is reverse biased for more than minus 5 volts yes or no so the diode will be in the 
of state only reverse bias condition only for vi less than minus 5 volts correct so positive region of vi and dc supply are applying and uh, are adding and uh, they are making the diode to turn on the result is that the diode will be in the on state for entire range of positive voltages of vi once the supply goes negative then even it the input voltage becomes more than 5 volts negative input voltage negative support input more than 5 volt the diode will go off state then the transition voltage how to obtain the transition voltage v not is equal to vi plus 5 so if we assume diode to be the ideal the output voltage is zero so vi plus 5 is equal to zero okay so vi plus 5 is equal to zero if we consider vi plus 5 is equal to zero vi plus vi plus 5 is equal to zero that time vi will be equal to minus 5 volts vi will be equal to minus 5 volts okay that means this is the transition voltage above minus 5 volts the diode will be in the on state and below minus 5 volts the diode will be in the off state okay transition voltage is minus 5 volts that is what it is shown here minus 5 volts transition level or the transition voltage below this minus 5 volts diode is in the off state and above minus 5 volts the diode will be in the on state so this is the same analysis the diode conducting okay v not is 0 volts for the finding the transition level or the transition voltage v not is 0 volts id is also 0 milliampere then vi will be minus 5 volts for voltage less than minus 5 volt the diode is open circuit state that is it is reverse biased and output is 0 volts for all the condition when diode is on diode current is established we are finding the output voltage using the kvl that is v not is equal to vi plus 5 volts okay so this is how we have to solve this particular example okay even the peak to peak sine waveform has 20 volts uh, that is 40 volts peak to peak 20 volts is positive peak minus 20 volts is negative peak right and given the circuit right we have to analyze in this way is this analysis understood students any questions here any questions here students is it understood students deepa deepa ratod no deepa ratod is it understood deepa yes deepa sir. understood okay deepa lamani yes, yes. sampat kumar sampat is it yes, sir. sampat Negative which one negative of cycle yes sir okay i like negative of cycle you did not understand yes sir sampat i okay, will yes, explain sir. that one second okay fine see here for the negative portion okay so when the polarity becomes minus plus negative half cycle means what polarity will become minus plus minus plus positive of cycle it is positive negative Negative half cycle yes. means it will be minus plus, correct? Minus plus. Yes, sir. So when it becomes yes, minus plus, minus plus, what will be the di diode here? If when Vi is less than five volts, also, right? Vi is less than five volts. Say Vi is minus one volt, minus two volt, right? For all those voltages, yes, diode is still forward biased, correct? Yes, because sir. Because this yes, DC sir. supply is there, which is positive. Positive of the DC supply is connected to positive of the diode. Negative of the DC supply is still connected to negative of the diode. Following here, Sampath. Hmm? Sampath? Yes, sir. Okay. So still it is in the forward bash condition. Now minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, still it is forward bash. When VI becomes minus 5 and more than minus 5, what will happen? Still minus 5 plus 5, it is 0 volts or minus 6. So minus 6, then positive to minus 6 plus 5 minus one correct that is this is negative positive positive to negative minus six negative to positive plus five minus one so net voltage here is minus which is applied to the diode Following here. so it will be reverse bash condition yes, it will be reverse bash condition it will go into open circuit state because vi has overtaken the 
is the supply voltage minus 5 volts and more than minus 5 volts it has overtaking the dc supply voltage of 5 volts plus 5 volts it is negative so minus of vi is applied to positive of diode plus of vi is applied to negative of diode so diode will become open circuit reverse passed getting the point sampath sampath is it yes, clear sir. any other question sampath yes, it is not understood yes, followed right now sampath yes, okay so when we what will be v not when vi is minus 5 volts minus 5 plus 5 volts it is 0 volts when it is minus 5 suppose if you are taking for minus 6 volts minus 6 plus 5 it will be minus 1 volt suppose if you want for minus 7 volts vi minus 7 volts minus 7 plus 5 minus 2 volts so minus 2 volts minus 6 volts means it is in reverse passed only yes or no negative yes. voltage will be positive and negative will be reverse passed only correct sampath Yes or no, yes, Sampath? Yes, sir. Anything else you want to ask, Sampath? No, sir. Sampath, anything else you want to ask? No, sir. No, sir. Fine. Okay. Then uh, we'll continue in the next class. Hmm? Sir, we'll continue the... this, this, this is first module, sir. First module, it is first module, yes. First module, first topic. Yes, sir. Sir, which yes, text please. we have to refer, sir? Boil state you can refer. Boil state. There's a one I have uh, WhatsApp in the group. Just you can refer to that. Hmm? Boil yes, state sir. and Nashelsky is the text. Yes. Just refer to that. So group you can refer to that. Sir, addition, sir. Okay. Addition. Addition. I think it is the uh, eighth, eighth of fifth edition. Fifth edition. Okay. That software I have sent in the group. Okay, sir. In okay. the WhatsApp group I have sent that. Contact at send. Just see. Okay, if you are not getting, we'll uh, once again work. Okay, 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 fine. Okay. Thank you. Then Thanks. we'll continue in the next one. Okay. okay. Right.